Hey everyone, so I just received some goodies in the mail today. I'm really excited because they just released these colors and I have been waiting for a purple fender from Future Motion. I kept telling my husband, why don't they have these colors available? Oh my gosh. And finally, they just released two of my favorite colors, which is the neon green. Technically, this is called lime green and this is the purple. So, got these because I like switching up colors on my pint. This is my pint right here. It's like an 80s version <laughs> theme I was going for. I love checkered everything and growing up in the 80s, it just had good memories, so I did that. But, oh my gosh, I am a little scared that these little side rails that I got will not fit properly with the solo float plate. That is my concern, and that's why I'm making this video so we can see if it will work or not. These are the uh, the Float Life Sidekicks, and they don't have the little part here that like goes under the board that wraps around it, so I'm really concerned about that because these are very thick compared to these are thin and can just go on there easily with the float plate. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to Dremel, like trim this whole thing off just so it will fit on there, you know? You know, I don't have a, this open yet on the right side, obviously, or anything yet, but I just wanted to show you, wow, the thickness is, I, I had no clue. These are awesome though. So crazy durable. Um, the thickness is just, Total, like night and day difference. I love the Float Life Sidekicks though. Um, can't go wrong with those. I've had a, a couple of them and they're easy to take off. I heard these ones are kind of a pain to take off. I'm not sure. I've never, this is my first pair I've ever ordered. So we will see. I'm gonna do a little experimenting with my new look here and we'll see if these work or not if I have to jumble them. So we will see. And just in case anyone else was ever wondering, because I'm not sure if anyone else has gone through this little dilemma, but I guess this is my first time. So we will see. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I am back with my new look on my pint. I like the way it turned out. And I'm happy to say that I did not have to Dremel the rail guards. They fit with the solo float plate. As you can see, I was worried about the thickness of it. It's kind of tucked under there. And the solo float plates come with a double-sided tape on right here and on the other side and right here on the back side. But on the front, there's no tape at all. So I added my own double-sided tape right here just for extra um, protection or I don't know, um, just because it was sticking up a little bit when I tightened the screws on the sides, it was a little bit right here. So, I mean, it's not a perfectly, you know, like flush with it, like the, uh, the Float Life Sidekicks were previously, but that's okay. I think it still looks great and I was able to make it work. So that's all that matters. So this is how it looks in case anyone else was interested in getting the future motion rail guards from one wheel, they will work with the solo float plates. So that is how it looks. And I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty nice that I did not have to Dremel it. These are very thick and durable side rails. I really like them. And so that is that. I hope you like it.